at disadvantage is going to become a huge advantage. So he talks about turning failure into success um, better than just about anybody. You know, I, I was doing those videos a couple of weeks ago talking about Maxwell Maltz talking about how fail, you know, failure becomes success if you stay with it. W. Clement Stone is much more like down in the ground. Like, how do you do that? Like, that's, you know, that's so much of like what his advice is pointing to is like, how do you just, you turn it around by self-reflecting, reflecting on your behavior and trying, trying again and taking action. Um, that's something else that's worth mentioning is that he, he's all about taking action. So, um, you know, I got into a lot of these ideas to be passive, you know, like I, I, you know, I relax more, try less, you know, and I'm very much still into that's still my personality in many ways, but especially if you want to see changes in your external world, we referenced this last time, it's important usually to take action, just uh, really just for the sake of taking action, because if you don't do anything, um, your mindset is that you're not doing anything. It, you know, like subconsciously, that's what your imagination is. It's like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Not doing anything, while it sounds great, you've got to be in a very good time frame of mind to appreciate not doing anything. And usually we're, we actually become, um, you know, we become stuck because we're like, well, I want to relax. I don't feel relaxed. I'm just going to do nothing to try to relax more, for instance. And it's really action we should be taking at that time to feel more relaxed, more aligned, more in tune, more in flow, to get more creative and do what we need to do and live a more relaxed life. Um, pretty nuanced point. And it's something um, that, yeah, it's worth, worth mentioning. Actually, Maggie and I were just talking, we were texting last week. You know, she made a new video. She hasn't done like a video in a month, Neville Goddess. And she was saying that like, she wasn't ready to like when she was doing all these videos and on reddit still she's like I, she's like i just what i wasn't ready to like go to that next place in my business that i needed I, I i knew i needed to do but she's like as soon as i started to take action i immediately saw an upswing in my business you know and i was saying how i have like a couple audiobooks that I, i've wanted to do that i haven't done over the last year just because i've had other things going on and i've basically been lazy about it i put it on the back burner i noticed last month i was like oh i'm doing these two and i contacted you know this my narrating guy and you know put the start of the, the ball rolling but the audiobooks aren't out yet but i noticed i made more money in the last 30 days than i had in the couple months each month before then simply because the ball started to roll and maggie was saying the same type of thing that's an example of like taking action for the sake of taking action and seeing results because your imagination is now like we're taking action we're doing things as opposed to like oh i'm gonna do nothing and just see what happens passiveness is you have to refine your passiveness and again that links back together with the success indicator the success indicator is you know reflecting daily that is refined passiveness you're being passive with a point um does that make sense? I feel like that was that was relevant what I said. <laughs> <laughs>